Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching. What you see in front of you is a Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. And what I will demonstrate in this video, what if you have this tablet with a stylus and you will connect to a shadow PC, turn it into a tablet mode, and can you use your shadow cloud gaming PC with this tablet as a Windows tablet? So let's start my shadow uh, client, let's start. So I, I connect it. So right now I'm connected to my shadow PC. If I go to bottom right, uh, bottom right hand corner, there's an option here. It says tablet mode. If I just select that right now, I am in a tablet mode. So let's just go into Adobe Photoshop and let's see how it's going to work. Obviously, I do have my keyboard and a mouse next to me, just in case if I need a quick input. So right now, let's choose new. So let's choose new 1920 by 1080. I say, okay. And I do have canvas ready. Uh, by using two fingers to pinch zoom in and out, I do not zooming in, in and out. But what I, it's happening is I'm zooming into the stream. So all the stream that happens, I'm just zooming in in this particular uh, location using two fingers. So it's, it's going to be easier for me to select what I want. So let's say I'm going to go this way. I'm going to say I want a pen. Okay. So pen is selected. Then I want to select the two colors. Let's draw, get that a bit closer. So let's say first color will be yellow, yellowish. And second color will be greenish. So two colors selected, pencil selected. So let's start writing down. So, Mr. P, and let's swap colors. Uh, tech. Sam. Sung. Tab. S. Four. And exclamation mark. And the actual responsiveness of this stylus, it is laggy. It's, it's not ideal, but I can see using this kind of uh, setup if I need to create, uh, let's say, a thumbnail for my video. I can bring in some sort of the image or something or screenshot, and then I can use that and the stylus and the tablet on the go, and I can annotate, write down, and etc., and create the thumbnail using this kind of setup. So let me choose just right now the eraser. And let's say I want to erase this. Why do I want to erase? Oh, because it's locked. Now it's unlocked. Uh, oh, I'm using stamp, idiot. I not chose the eraser. Erase is this one. Tablet moves slightly, so eraser. So as you can see, I'm erasing the background and the, the actual text. So let's go into a magic wand. Magic one selected. So let's see, I want to select this color. So yellow P is selected. Let's go back to, and I do have the keyboard next to me, by the way. So I can use keyboard as a shortcut. So E is eraser. If B is the brush. And I, if I remember correctly, this button, like a brackets, left and right these like square brackets is increasing and decreasing the size of a pen so let me quickly erase this let's increase a bit i can actually even more while i'm using this i i, I definitely can see myself using this as a as a productivity tool if i need to create something so let's do a um, that's not good let's do a better pen Okay, let's quickly, obviously, no, I don't know all the shortcuts, so let's say I can select the shortcut, the bucket, and just make all this to be green color, so that's changed. So right now, let's change into yellow, do, uh, oops, that will do, so, M, R, reduce the size. Uh, P. 
amazing <laughs> really really good if you are a photoshop expert let's say you know a lot of uh the shortcut keys let's say bucket as i mentioned the bucket is g so if i go start drawing b and g actually doesn't want to why oh it's a 3d material okay so under pen Pencil, etc., and the magic wand. Uh, I do have the rectangle select. So let's select this one, click E, and now I am deleting this area. This video is not uh, to teach you how to use a Photoshop, but this is very, very nifty uh, workaround if you want to uh, create a uh, uh, and something on the Photoshop and you don't want to spend thousands and thousands of pounds or dollars on to um, what is this called Microsoft Surface I believe it's called this very big large screen with the touch screen um, display and the stylus this is very very <laughs> amazing setup to be honest if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below I do read every single comment please be nice to me and others and don't forget there is a Samsung DeX subreddit group. We are sharing questions and information there. We are all very helpful. If you have any problems with DeX, just pop in there. Let us know your problem and we will do uh, our best to help you out. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next one. Goodbye.